Good afternoon, Mr. Chair and members of the committee. My name is Mark Fallon, and I'm testifying in support of House Bill 1042. I'm a visiting scholar at John Jay College of Criminal Justice and co-director of Project Aletheia, a center established to bridge the gap between the science and practice of interrogation. I'm a retired federal agent with more than three decades of investigative experience, primarily as a special agent with the Naval Criminal Investigative Service, the NCIS. Following the attacks of September 11th, I was a special agent in charge of the task force established to investigate terrorists for trials before military commissions. I was taught, and I believed, an innocent person wouldn't confess to a crime they did not commit. I was wrong, we were wrong, and there have been grave consequences. We now know that approximately 30% of those exonerations for wrongful convictions had confessed to crimes they didn't commit. Juveniles are especially vulnerable. I've been involved in interrogational research since 2010, and I'm the past chair of the U.S. government's High Value Detainee Interrogation Group Research Committee. The Hague has commissioned more than 150 research projects, and there have been more than 225 peer-reviewed publications focused on improving interrogational practice. I'm the co-editor and contributing author of the book, Interviewing and Interrogation, a review of research and practice since World War II, which is currently in press. When I became the director of the NCIS Training Academy in 2006, we were using confession-driven methods. They do no longer. When I became the assistant director for training of the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center in 2008, we were not using science within our interrogation training programs. They do now. Federal law enforcement is evolving, rejecting deception, embracing research, and now instructing in science-based methods of effective in interviewing. I urge the state of Colorado to do the same and pass 1042. Just as you wouldn't issue a firearm that haphazardly fires, you should not do so with interrogation practice. Science-based methods are an alternative to trickery and deceit. Deceptive practices during interrogation should be rejected. They lack dignity. Effective interviewing is tradecraft, not stagecraft. Policing with virtue will foster public trust, uphold the rule of law, professionalize the practice of policing, and move us a step closer towards community-embraced policing. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Fallon. Mr. Trano.